Hi, this is Rick with SphereGen. As many of you know, we are doing a lot of work in the augmented and virtual reality space. Most of our development has been focused around headsets and also the iOS AR kit. But we've had additional uh, increasing inquiries lately about projected reality, where we use a projector and project uh, additional information onto either walls or vehicles or the like. That's uh, been a bit of a challenge for us as the only sensors that we had available to us were cameras and we were taking in third-party eBay-based Kinect sensors, which really isn't a solid solution for enterprises. So we were really excited when uh, to get our hands on a Microsoft Azure Kinect developer kit. So this is an unboxing video. As you can see, we are real developers and we're trademark sensitive. Uh, this will be my first unboxing video because, frankly, I've never seen the value in one of them in my life, but you're the internet and we respond to you. Just a regular, normal shipping box. And here we go. Uh, the sensor itself is uh, not that big. I mean, we're talking, you know, four inch by five inch in total. It has three sensors in the front. Uh, you've got a normal color camera, you've got a depth sensor, and you've got an IR camera as well. Uh, one thing that we uh, had hoped for originally was for these to be wireless, but it's understandable the amount of data that's going uh, back and forth. Uh, these have to have wired connections, uh, so they come with power cable, uh, USB-C, and a star connector. I'll show you what that's for in a second here. Uh, there's also a power, you know, typical USB power source, and uh, what I consider the world's cheapest uh, mount with an index. When you um, connect one of these, no pun intended, to a computer, uh, it has to be via this USB-C connection. But when you want to add additional computer uh, sensors on, what you have to do is take this back case off, and I guess leave it off. And use a specialized sync cable between it and the next ones, and you basically daisy chain these together. So there you go. Uh, you can see the microphone array at the top. You can see the sinks in and out, uh, the USB connection to your uh, computer itself, and the power. And that's it. This is the new uh, Connect developer kit. And what we're going to do next is we're going to show you what it looks like uh, in the development environment, what you get by default when you first fire this thing up. Okay, so now we have you in the uh, just default dev environment. This is a shot of uh, our office. I'm going to have Andrew walk onto the screen now. You'll see that we've got uh, three sensors set up. We have the infrared top left. We have uh, right in front and down below the color camera of 12 megapixel. And most interesting to the right is the uh, depth sensor uh, radar. So as Andrew, Andrew, could you put your arms out to the side and then spin around slowly and what you'll see is the color gradient uh, shows us the depth of what's there and what's uh, in the same plane. As Andrew walks uh, towards the bookcase in the back and he puts his hands on the bookcase, we'll see his arm is uh, exactly in the same plane as the bookcase because it's the exact same color. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things here in the dev environment, really kind of interesting, but we just want to give you a sense of what's here right out of the box. So have any questions about... Uh, the DK uh, kit, um, just let us know. We'd love to help.